you are about to see the most exciting video on how to service a Rikon wheelchair lift that you're ever gonna see on the internet. How do I know this? Because I looked for them and I saw the videos that are out there and I couldn't find this. So I'm making a video about it. So hopefully you're in my situation and you find this video. So here we are, man. You were looking for me, I was looking for you. Here we are, let's do this. What's going on is you get yourself a rig with a wheelchair lift. What do we know about hydraulic lifts? We're just people that bought vehicles with them for whatever reason, but what do we really know about them? Well, you can download the PDF for it. I did that and get what you get. It was very ambiguous, but uh, ultimately these things need uh, attention. They're gonna need maintenance. Over time, they stopped working. Mine stopped working because it needed hydraulic fluid and I didn't know where to get the fluid or uh, how to fill it. And that's what this video is gonna be about. Get back, get back. So here's what happens. You're going, you got your lift. Everything's groovy. You're using it. You love it. Maybe it's got the seat belt still in it. Maybe this thing, you didn't make it permanently down, but you got it, you're using it. Stay back. And you go to put it up and it starts slowing down, slowing down, slowing down. And that's about all you get right there. And so you've got to lift it up in there and slam the door closed. See my little spot right here? Slam the little door closed, try to get the lever to close. And the reason is because it needs fluid. They lose fluid over time. And there's a little bit of fluid on the ground, but you know, not that big of a deal. So how do we fix it? How do we get it operating correctly? Well, this one is operating correctly. Look at this, watch this. Look at how tight that goes in there. It is operating correctly because I put the hydraulic fluid in that it calls for. It's very important to get the right hydraulic fluid. And I'm gonna show you how I did it so you don't go through what I went through. I don't see where the serial number is on this thing. Might have, I might have busted it off, but I did get it at one point. You get the serial number for this. And that, that way you find out what kind of hydraulic fluid it takes and you get your hydraulic fluid and then you got to fill it. Well, my problem was I couldn't find out where it fills from and I couldn't find anything online. So I'm going to show you where it fills from. Here's the big moment. I took, if you come down here and look, this is a water line. This is a line going to a refrigerator. That's just, I'm just explaining to you what those things are. This is my kitchen and there's two bolts back here that hold this cover on and there's one bolt over here. Well, I buried myself to where I can't get it apart. So I just took some channel locks and opened it up. Now I can come back and rebuild that with wood. That's not a big deal. And then here's the reservoir. So if you have one of these hydraulic lifts, here's the reservoir. And it's got two little areas right here where you can put fluid in. This one's been accessed. So I took this screw out. It just takes a little screwdriver, I'll show you. So you come over here to your fill screw and you back that out see you just back it out like this no big deal i'm gonna tighten it back up and my fluid at the time was down here so then you take your fluid shout out to paul cool breeze travels on youtube for uh, helping me out with this fluid you take your fluid and it's got to be the right stuff and you put it in here. Now look at, see how I did my situation here? It's all messed up. You probably, you might hopefully have a better situation than this, but let me show you what I did. Okay, here's one idea. I'm, I'm just giving you ideas, okay? Here's one idea. You could take something like this. This is just power steering fluid that I put this tip on. This didn't come with this container. It was on a different one and I just saw that the threads matched. You could get something like this, put the fluid in it, and you can get into it that way. That's one way to do it. I use a little hose. I'll show you. I use this hose here, which fits inside of here, in a little, in a little, uh, in a little funnel, and just poured the fluid in through this tube. So that's how I got it in there. 
and this black line is where I filled it to. It says full right here, ground level. So I filled it up to here and it works like a charm. So I would say if you've got access to the bolt right here and the two bolts back here, then uh, you know, you, you could open this up any way you want, but you wouldn't have to tear it open like I did. I'm just showing you how where it was. If you did find yourself in this situation, you could use an oscillating tool to kind of cut this open. Or if you're gonna build around it, you could put the bolts in here or take the bolts out, build your cabinet, and then fasten it in a different way that you can access. I'll, I'll probably end up rebuilding this in the same wood kind of that you see here to make it match no real big deal on that but i wanted to show you where it is so you don't have to go through that all right guys uh short and sweet hope you're all doing well uh go get them you got yourself a hydraulic uh, wheelchair lift go get them see ya